Hello everyone, this is a message from the European Broadcasting Union, the EBU, welcoming you all to this glorious city of Baku, here in Azerbaijan. This time we'd like to say hello to all our viewers in Sweden. Last year in Dieseldorf, the duo Elder and Nikki won with the amazing song Running. I'm scared. And brought the contest to a Sergeban. A Sergeban. A Ser. To Baku. To Baku. And Sweden, you came in third with the song Popular by Eric Shaday. Sadie. It's a day day. Crash, boom, bang! Here behind me, the Sergeabans are building the new Crystal Arena the home of the Eurovision Song Contest 2012, who will be finished in time, hopefully. It's an amazing feeling here. You can really smell the excitement in the air. Here is the heart of the EBU. People are working hard, crunching out all the details of your arrival. How's it going over there, slapped go? Sit he says yes. Welcome. So, to all you lovely viewers in Switzerland, remember, the month of May is just around the corner. Welcome to the amazing country of Sijib. Goodbye. Who's next? Bloody hell. Bosnia Herzegovina. Hello. Hello, everyone, and good evening, Europe. This is Stockholm Calling. We're very excited. Thank you to Asa, Ben Asa, to Baku for an amazing, amazing <laughs> show. <laughs> Eurovision, <laughs> These are the Linda Woodroff delivers out Sveriges första sju poäng. Eight points go to Estonia. Lestoni, we won. Till Estland. Hon är så söt. Ten points go to... Serbia! Tio poäng till Serbien. And finally, drum roll, very exciting. Twelve points go to the amazing Cyprus! Ship! Dospa! Thank you, Sweden! Sveriges tolva går till Sypen och kvällens största medalj går till Sveriges tolva. Hello, everyone. This is Linda Woodruff, and I have a message from the European Broadcasting Union, the EVU. I would like to welcome you all to the home of the Eurovision Song Contest 2013, the amazing Friends Arena in Stockholm. No, no, it's in, in Malmo. What? Malmo. In Malmo. You see Denmark? No, Malmo, Sweden. Hello, everyone. This is Linda Woodruff. Welcoming you all to the home of the Eurovision Song Contest 2013, the slightly smaller Mama Arena. Well, it's cosy. Crash, boom, bang. Last year in Assetabden, in Baku, Sweden won with the amazing song Euphoria by Lauren. Lorraine. Lolo. And brought the contest back to Mama. The city of Malmö has so much to offer, both when it comes to culture and food, like this speciality, the spit cake. It's spit and sugar in a cake. Well, delicious. Also, the south of Sweden has brought the world so many talents. The amazing Anita Ekberg, Slayton, and of course, the Pepsi person. So, to all you Eurovision fans out there, welcome to Mama, where myself and the amazing Laloi Taloi will see you in May. Goodbye. Bloody hell, let's go to Copenhagen for quite a bit. 
And this feels like a perfect opportunity for you to get to know our country just a little bit more. And who could be more suited for this than the European Broadcasting Union's spokesperson, Linda Woodruff? Ja, nu är det dags för ett bekant ansikte från Melodifestivalen. Linda Woodruff på Sverige Festa. Hello, my name is Linda Woodruff and I am the spokesperson for the European Broadcasting Union. It was the song Euphoria with the amazing Lorraine, with Lauren, Lolo, that brought the contest back to Sweden. A country that has given the world so many wonderful things. For example, uh, uh, Lorraine, of course, and uh, snow. The EBU has asked me to take you on a tour of this amazing country. Tonight, I've travelled up north, or as Lorraine would say, we're going up, 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 up. I have now reached one of the northernmost points in Sweden, and I'm standing here with the lovely mayor of this amazing town, Jackus Jervy. Did I pronounce that right? No. In this lovely town of Jökendahovi, I've decided to spend the night, the Norland way. But the bedrooms can't be made of ice, right? Yes, they are. But... Ah, what a wonderful place. Oh, my God! It's actually quite cosy. I've been given a bedtime snack. Amazing reindeer chips. <coughs> I'll save them for later. Tomorrow, they've arranged for me to experience the calm nature of Norland on a relaxing dog sleigh ride. Hello everyone, my name is Linda Woodruff and I am the spokesperson for the EBU, the European Broadcasting Union. Welcome to Sweden! In the first semi-final, I showed you Norland and tonight I've travelled south to Malmö, famous for the Tivoli, the Little Mermaid and, of course, the Pulse, a Swedish red sausage. No, it's, it's Danish. What? This is Copenhagen. Denmark? But how was I supposed to know we were in Denmark? As if anyone can see the difference. This is what happens when you've bloody bonnetile on your GPS. Turn it off. Hello. I have flown on the wings of love and landed in Malmö, the home of the Eurovision Song Contest. And this is their most famous building, the Turning Torso. But the most famous torso for Mama belongs to Slayton. This is the actual field where Slayton played his first soccer game. Mama, home of Slayton and the Eurovision Song Contest. No! <laughs> well, Europe, now you know a little bit more about Mama, and I am off to visit the capital, Stockholm. Bye bye. Turn it off! Linda Woodruff has tried, and I emphasize tried, to show you the wonders of Sweden. Tonight she has reached our capital, Stockholm. Nu ska vi få se Linda i Stockholm. Hello, this is Linda Woodruff, and I am the spokesperson for the European Broadcasting Union, the EBU. Last year, the Eurovision Song Contest was held in Azerbaijan. In, a, in Baku, a sunny and exotic place. And this year, we're in Sweden. It's beautiful, but very cold. 
it might be a bit chilly, but the Swedish people are very warm at heart. Hello. Maybe they don't speak English. Oh. During this week, I've been asked to give you a tour of this lovely tree. And tonight, we're visiting the capital, Stockholm. Buildings here date all the way back to the 15th century. And for all you young viewers out there, that's very old. It's like all them little old ladies from Russia last year put together. Or like Egbert Dinkelhump. <laughs> This is the royal castle, where the royal family lives. Agneta, Frida, Bjorn and Benny. But apparently they never come out together anymore. It's a shame. But down here in the royal armory, tourists can get a unique glimpse of the costumes they used to wear. I think these are from the Voulez Vu video. Voulez Vu! Aha! Aha! Uh -huh. And these are, of course, the costumes they wore when they won the contest with Waterloo back in 1974. I'm surprised more gay Eurovision fans haven't found this place yet. Thank you to the amazing city of Stockholm. This is Linda Woodruff, and remember, the winner takes it all! Baby, you all have to pay for it.